Stand by for your aviation link. We're going to go to Burl's Aircraft in Birchwood and hear all about their airplane parts and airplane. Mm -hmm. We're here at Burl's Aircraft in Birchwood and we're going to hear all about the Aero Sedan and the parts they make. Well, Ralka started building the sedan in early 47 when they started working on it. Brought it to production by 1948. During the 1948 through 50, they built 561 airplanes. Out of that, it was 255 roughly are left on the registry. Out of that, about 220 are flying. Since we started working on it, and over the years, my working on sedan, we've made modifications to it. And the latest one here, the sedan, what we call the aero sedan, it has everything that I've ever done plus a lot more. Uh, we've redesigned the fuselage in this section up front where it now has uh, the standard is double seaplane doors. Uh, we've reinforced, changed some of the structure and reinforced it to make it stronger and uh, increased the strength by 229% just in the cabin section alone. Uh, hopefully our goal is to get a 200 horse on it in the, eventually. Right now it will be delivered with 180 horse. 80 inch constant speed prop and we're also working with Hartzell to put the 83 inch uh, trailblazer composite prop on. We have gotten rid of all the wood in the uh, fuselage. Uh, if you can see here that we have aluminum stringers. Uh, we have an aluminum panel that holds the form of the stringers called a reformer. Um, these tubes here used to be wood as well. They were plywood sheets. Of course they're 4130 tube now. So we've made it a lot stronger and a lot lighter. Uh, that's kind of the goal is to work off the original 1947 drawings, which we do, and then but to add some new STCs into the uh, production of it and engineering to make everything legal but better and up to today's up to today's standards. One thing about the seaplane doors is that when they're when they're closed, they actually come flush. So when the door is completely installed and the skin is on and everything, the skin will be flush with the outside of the frame. Mm -hmm. Most sedan, most plane doors will they'll come out here like this and have the frame and then they'll put the skin on it and then they'll slab the, the skin and the air, uh, weather strip on the outside like that and then you've got this bulk here. And that's a, that's a lot of frontal air. Uh, another thing that uh, the 180 horse sedans have always been short on is fuel. And they originally just had 36 gallons of fuel. So a 10 gallon an hour burn, that's not much time. So the new sedans will have an ox tank in each wing that will give another 10.35 gallons per tank. So you have over 56 gallons of fuel. That's a reasonable amount of fuel to carry anybody here. The other thing is, is that all the modifications, everything that we're doing to the new sedans will be put up as a factory kit, they'll be able to use it, buy the kits, install it on the legacy aircraft, the legacy fleet, as factory approved parts and data. There'll be no further, there'll be a logbook entry only, there's no reason, there's no further ins inspection or required by the FAA. It'll be factory approved data right straight from us, already done. So we've heard from Burl and Carl about the Aero Sedan and all the parts they make here at Birchwood Airport at Burl's Aircraft. I'm Rob Stapleton for your Alaska Aviation Link.